Hello everyone, welcome back to Jilly's Nails. We're on day 15 of 31 Halloween days of nail art. I'm so excited about this one. We're going to just jump right into this one. It's another very simple, very cute, fast manicure, but I am in love with this. I literally gasped in person when I did this manicure. I, <gasps> it's so pretty. Love it. I am in love with it. So we're doing a peel off base coat first on all of the nails. And then we are going to get this Sinful Colors polish. It is called Blacklist. It dries matte. I would call it a demi matte. Like it's not super super matte black it kind of has a little shine to it and uh, I did not shake the bottle before I put it on my thumbnail and boy did I pull some oil it was a hot mess <laughs> but I was able to fix it I went back and shook the bottle and just went over it and it all blended in very nicely thank goodness because taking off black polish without a peel off base coat <laughs> My nails are not in love with the black polish right now. I'm in love with it, but my cuticles and nails are not. So, um, hey, speaking of stains on nails, take a look at that. That's the hand that was stained really bad orange from the trick-or-treat nails. And it's almost all completely gone. There's still just a little bit right where the, you can tell where the skin and my actual nail tip start to grow out right in front of that white tip. You can still see some of the staining, but most of it's gone. So I'm very glad about that. Um... I have been oiling the crap out of my nails trying to keep them from drying out while I've been doing all of this and uh, it seems like it's helping lift that color so I'm very grateful for that. And we have a mini cat quake. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> and then there's actually two of them. Two little teeny tiny cat quakes. I almost missed that one and they haven't done it in a while. I was getting kind of pouty about it but I found it. Cat quake. So we're going to go in and do a second layer of that blacklist. I, the only reason why I did two layers, truthfully, is because I didn't mix it that well when I first put it on. So it settled a little lumpy. Um, but it doesn't, like the second coat was absolutely fine. I didn't have that problem at all. And uh, I think there was another manicure. Yeah, there was another manicure where I used that color. And I didn't have that problem. I think it was a one coater on that one. So... We're going to go in now use that peel off latex barrier because I am tired of scrubbing crap off my cuticles and this definitely helps with that. Although, unless you get it on your nail, it's still going to get on your cuticles a little bit, but it does help a lot. Uh, keep that stuff off of there. And this is another one of those plates from that Wayline company. Again, never heard of them, but it's a great plate. And these pumpkins with the vines, or jack-o'-lanterns with the vines swirling around. <gasps> so cute. So very cute. So I'm just going to peel off that blue protective coating. It comes on all stamping plates. Sometimes it's clear, which I think is just rude. But uh, if you take the blue off, then go through with some acetone or isopropyl alcohol, scrub the plate down, make sure it does not have any sticky stuff left on it. There's no hairs or oils off your fingers. Then we're going to go in with Spiced Orange from Maniology. Um, this is one of my favorite stamping polishes ever. It is so pretty. Every time I use it, it comes out perfect. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now on this one, I believe I picked it up twice and I may have edited that out. Um, but it, I kept picking up stuff off the edges of it. So I had some problems and had to clean it off. But it didn't have anything to do with the polish. It was just me where I was applying it and where it was on the stamper. Or on the stamping plate. So I wish that had come in a little bit neater and closer up for this. My camera's doing this weird thing. It's set in the same place every day. And some days it films really super up close, and some days it doesn't. I don't understand what's going on with that. It's probably something I need to get the camera manual out about, but literally gasped when I saw this in person how absolutely stunning it was. And that spice orange color popped like crazy on top of that black. It, one of the best metallic stamping polishes I have ever seen, hand to God. It doesn't matter what color you use it over. It is always absolutely stunning. Like, if they ever say that they're getting rid of that one and discontinuing it, I will buy every bottle they have. That's how much I love that color. It's, I don't know, it's just beautiful coppery. It's perfect. It came in a Mania by Me box that uh, came out last year for fall. 
So we did these little swirly jack-o'-lanterns. It's very easy, Manny, but it's very cute. And I think very classy, like for work, where, you know, if somebody may or may not like Halloween in your office. I've had that happen, and boo on them. But, uh, you know, it, it still looks classy, but festive. And I love that about it. So I really think this is one that if you are able to pick up those plates these plates are worth it like approved by me love them would buy them again and whatever company that is if I can find out who it is <laughs> I will continue to buy plates from them because they're a very fair price and they work really well and have some very cute and original designs on it now the very last thing that we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and put a matte top coat over that metallic paint and over the matte polish that was already there just to make sure it's nice and matte and uh, let that very thoroughly dry. So cute. You just don't, yeah, you have to see these. Wait till you see this reveal picture. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. And there's some other things that you could do too if you wanted to kind of like bump up this design more. These are little kind of black pearls that are a chrome multi shift, or these are just little inexpensive gems off of Amazon and black and white diamonds. I might have done a mix of both of those had I used those. Then there's some bigger ones too that have that multi chrome kind of shift to them that I think would be really pretty with this. <gasps> Look at that! I know it's such a simple manicure, but it is so cute so classy I would wear this all day every day so if you like that one and want to see more from me click on my face and subscribe or if you want to see more videos click in the upper right hand corner thank you so much for watching I appreciate you have a great week